Tonight, Fairfield County has mapped out uh, what they hope to look like in 10 years with their comprehensive plan. Walker Lawson tells us more. My initial thoughts is um, it's good that it was completed, finally, uh, three years late, but it was it's now completed. Fairfield County resident Randy Bright has been vocal about the creation of this comprehensive plan. Gene Stevens, PIO for Fairfield County, says there was standout information when drafting the plan. Out about us in a state that's growing, that has grown for the last 10 years in by 12%, we've lost, you know, 11% of population. Uh, so that's kind of something that drew. Uh, jumped out to us uh, and another thing that's actually really jumped out to us is the increase in average age. Some of the goals include attracting and retaining workforce age population with job development, residential improvement, as well as coordinating with Fairfield County on aging for essential services. Bright says he wanted to see more. And, and the population that we lost was the younger population, which tells me that the obvious, we're not providing the opportunities and the amenities to keep our graduates here in Fairfield. Other goals also providing housing. We, we, as far as housing goes, we are way behind on housing. It showed us that, uh, like the study showed us that we, we don't have a lot of like middle income housing. We, uh, our county has a lot of either high income housing or low income housing. We have the county is in the process right right now of redoing our um, land ordinances as well. While also focusing on economy, Bright says he thinks the county has done a good job focusing on attracting businesses with the I-77 mega site. The emphasis on um, attracting industry that's vital and and we've been doing that to a degree. Walker Lawson, News 19, WLTX. And we understand tonight that Fairfield County will hold a public hearing on all of this coming up on Monday, April the 8th.